Right, so due to popular demand, a lot of people have asked me, what is that Xiaomi Mi Smart Home Gateway thing that I dismantled? So here it is. Uh, I suppose I should have told you people what it is before I took it apart. So um, here we go. This is the little box it arrives in. It's uh, quite pretty. And obviously this is not the first time I've opened it because I've already dismantled it and strewn it across my workbench, but there we go. So. Uh, Apparently some rabbit gives us instructions in Chinese on how to use it, which is all great if I could read Chinese, but I can't. We'll uh, touch on that a few times because it is a recurring theme here. Um, so there's the little instruction sheet and what looks suspiciously like an iPhone SIM card removal tool for hitting the little reset and pair buttons, a manual with instructions in Chinese. And uh, these are stickers for all of the other individual modules. So um, let's have a look. So here's the gateway, the one that I took apart in my previous video. It's quite small, plugs directly into your wall outlet, um, and it does its thing. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to it. So there's your gateway. Then you have a little motion sensor. I think it's just uh, PIR, but um, standard in all uh, home alarm systems and everything and it's really really tiny it's one of the smaller ones I've ever seen and in and in here is a sticker for the bottom of it so you can you know stick it to a wall or to a, a roof or whatever you want ceiling um, then here we have the button so the whole thing is a bit of a button and the base here is sort of clicky clicky there we go uh, that's also a sticker you can use this for various things like a panic button for an alarm or a um, uh, a doorbell, which is the default configuration. You just sort of stick it on your wall outside your front door or stick it on your door and when you press the button this thing goes ding dong. Kind of handy. Um, this is a door sensor, so here is the actual sensor itself. Um, you can see it's got also a sticker on the back for helping you stick it to a door. It's got a little line on one side but only on one side, so obviously this is the side that faces the magnet, which comes out of here. So it has a it has a line as well, and they sort of match up. So one goes on the door, one goes on the door frame. Open, close, open, close, and you see the events in your uh, alarm logs, or you can actually set it to alarm if this goes off and you haven't deactivated the gateway using your smartphone before opening the door. So you can sort of use it as a home alarm alarm system too. Ooh magnets. Um, and that's it in the box. It's quite a solid box. There's a lot of empty space in there, but it's um, it's pretty heavy and very solid. And it's actually glued together. It's not just sort of slotted into each other like you'd expect. Uh, so let's get the box out of the way. We all, we all know what cardboard looks like. Um, so here's the gateway, and I suppose we plug it in. So there's the power strip. In she goes. Blinky lights. We don't we all love a little bit of blinky blue LEDs. So once all of the blinking lights have stopped blinking, um, you can then put it into pairing mode. So three presses on the button on the home gateway. One, two, three. A lovely lady says something to me in Chinese, and then I start pushing the buttons on each of these individual devices. So here's our suspiciously Apple-y looking button pusher. Push the button. And hmm. next one, and next one. So all of these actually come paired out of the box to the gateway. So even without setting the gateway up, these guys all work with the gateway that came in the box. So the next step then is to actually get the gateway on your home wireless network. So we're going to do this. Uh, very unscientifically, I have the English, Greek, and French translation of the Mi Home um, app installed on my phone. It's a bit of a bodge getting it on here. It's not easy to do, um, but once you find it, it's on the Greek 
forum, the unofficial Xiaomi forum, so uh, don't go looking for it on the English forum, go look for it on the Greek forum, um, and you'll find it. Uh, then all you do is you hit the plus button, you run your scan, it'll find the gateway, you enter your home wireless details, you know, SSID and password, it'll then connect, and then all of a sudden all of your devices start appearing in here. So here we have the home gateway. Uh, there is the motion sensor, that's the door sensor, and that is the doorbell. So there's all of our devices on there. Then you can do various different things here. Configuring, if you know Chinese, um, what each of these devices triggers and what sort of results you get. Now even though this is, in theory, the English app, a lot of this is actually pulled directly from the Xiaomi cloud so you can't really translate this because this is coming directly off their servers so it's a bit of a hit and miss affair to figure out how to get it to work but it, it, it does work um, like for example I have another device a, uh, a Xiaomi plug smart plug and that basically turns on the lights in a display cabinet upstairs at 8 o'clock every night and turns, turns it off at quarter to 12 every night uh, that was basically just guessing by uh, poking around in the app and seeing what the results were. I'm pretty sure if you had some time to spend on uh, Google Translate and, and, you, and you decided to do it step-by-step -step way, it would make a bit more sense. But, you know, I had some spare time, so I messed around with it. So some of the other functionality is this light, which now they've changed the app, so I have no idea how to get the light to work is here somewhere, your home gateway, yay, right, so you turn the light on, and in theory you can change the color, there we go, so I want my light to turn on red, or whatever, so yay for RGB stuff, green, it's a bit delayed because it's going to the cloud and back, and of course I'm not exactly giving it a chance to catch up with me by just mashing buttons but you get the general idea. Now the nice thing about this is that in the gateway is a little light sensor so it'll detect if the room is dark at night and if you then walk past the PIR or what they call the motion detector or the human detector or the presence sensor uh, it turns the light on which is really handy when little children wake you up in the middle of the night and you need to go and find them Well. Hopefully they're still in their bed, but uh, it, it also prevents your uh, furniture finding toes from finding furniture in the dark. Um, so that's basically the home gateway. Now there's a security function to it that I haven't quite figured out. Uh, hopefully we can play with that a bit once I get a few more of these door sensors, which I'd like to do because, you know, I have three doors to come into the house and only one door sensor. Not great. Maybe that's designed for apartments. But... Uh, once I get that all sorted out, I'll let you guys know about it. This is going up outside, definitely, because we don't have a working doorbell. The other thing you can do is actually configure it not only to ring the gateway, that nice ding-dong sound, you can also get it to send push notifications to your phone, which is handy, because maybe I'm out back, or I'm downstairs, or even if I'm not at home, I'd like to know if somebody was at the front door. But that's kind of handy stuff to have. So um, all of these things go into log entries that you can look up in the app on the phone. Uh, and that's it. So now you know what it is and the things it can do. Um, hopefully I can figure out the app a bit further and, and maybe go into a bit more advanced detail. What I would really like is to be able to turn the cabinet display lights on and off with maybe a second button. Just because sometimes I don't want them on at night or I just don't feel like getting my phone out to turn them on and off. But, you know. Or maybe even use the present sensors to turn them on and off, because it's pointless having the cabinet lights on if nobody's actually in the house. Uh, yeah, there's loads of different things you can do with it. Um, so yeah, put any comments or questions in the comments. Um, I'm going to include a link to a few resources in the show notes, just down below in the YouTube notes section. Um, one of them will be the English translation of this little manual. Uh, which I'm sure a lot of people will find handy. And, yeah, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, really, really like it, or if you want more updates, give it a subscribe. And I hope to see you guys and see your comments in the future. Cheers!